Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel My Research Support. So friends, in today's video, we'll be discussing about this chat GPT. So this video would be really very important and interesting to all of you. So if you are at all involved in writing assignments, research papers, review papers, thesis, research proposals or any other relevant documents. And if you want this tool to write everything, then yes, this video is for you. But recently many plagiarism checking tools have started this AI detection feature. They have also incorporated the similar type of AI algorithm so that if you are using, if you are generating your document from this chat GPT, that that can be cached under this AI detection tools. Means if you are checking these documents in the plagiarism checking tools, maybe in Turnitin, Authenticate, Urkun, then there along with this plagiarism AI score will be mentioned separately. Means if you are generated a complete document, then there is a possibility, there is a probability that AI score may be 100% or the plagiarism may be 0% or 5% or 10%. But don't worry, there are some ways or rather tricks that you have to apply to the generated document. Then if you are checking that document in any of the plagiarism checking tool, then it won't be detected even under plagiarism or under this AI detection tool. So we'll be discussing each and everything in this video. But prior to that, please do not forget to subscribe this channel to get the similar kind of information in near future. Now with proper examples, we'll be discussing each and every step. But prior to that, let me discuss about this chat GPT. So if you are using chat GPT, then make sure that you're using a latest model, maybe chat GPT 3.5 or for because if you are using the older versions older models then there is a possibility that maximum text can be detected under this ai detection tools now we'll convert some text with the help of this chat gpt and we'll be discussing different ai detection tools so we'll see if as it is if you are generating the text and putting there under this ai detection tools then what percentage they will be showing what percentage of ai score and then we'll discuss that what steps you need to apply so that this ai score will be reduced or even it is completely minimized this is chat gpt interface so if you wanted to use it then you have to either first register or log in by using your google or gmail credentials so you can use this link so that when you log in you will be getting this web page so basically this is free however if you wanted to use unlimited the higher model then in that case you might have to pay the subscription charges so here you can see that I can use 3.5, this is chat GPT plus actually, this GPT-4 model or legacy you can see what is the difference basically in GPT-3.4, 4. So few of the features will vary. So if you need a specific text related to your topic, you can put the keywords here and then you will be getting the text generated by this tool. So if you need maybe uh, some part of introduction to write your research paper, review paper, you can put this, that topic related keywords here. If you need the advancements done over the last 10 years, 5 years or for a specific duration, then also you can put similar keywords. So if I need to write statement of purpose for my PhD admission and if I putting these keywords, then you can see how this chatbot is writing this statement of purpose for me. And this language is also very effective. You can read that. Dear admission committee, I am writing to express my strong interest in pursuing graduate studies, blah, 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 blah. So in this way, you will get your documents generated by using this chat GPT. So this is again another document that I have generated. So let me copy a part of this text generated in this AI detection tool. So we'll be using basically copy leaks and another is this zero gpt so just paste the copy text here and check so you can see here thus whatever con content which is highlighted which is caught under this ai detection tool so it is showing around 95 percent three percent probability for ai i mean the co almost complete text is shown under this ai detection however let us take one other example. So this is zero GPT, which is also AI detection tool. So copy. So I'm pasting the copy text and detect text. So we'll see. So here you can see here it is showing 70.97%. So as I have explained in my previous video that different tools, the AI detection tools will use different algorithms. In that case, it is possible that for few texts, 
this tool will be showing 100% for few text this tool will be showing 100% so for that we will be taking these two examples okay now so the most important thing is how to reduce this AI score or how to make your document completely unique so that you can submit it in the university or maybe in the journals so for that you have to first understand about this algorithms means how this algorithms detect the ai score so it is very simple to understand for example if a specific algorithm which is used by chat gpt algorithm is a kind of program so that writes a specific sentence if similar kind of program is incorporated by this plagium checking tools ai detection tools then obviously the sentence written by chat gpt can be cached under this ai detection tool okay so now you have to disturb you have to play with the sequence of words means a specific sentence which is generated by this algorithm so you have to just disturb the sequence of words maybe you can use some synonyms or you can just change the sequence maybe some words here and there then obviously that sequence cannot be caught under this AI detection tool because that is not trained to catch that it is only trained that program is exactly similar to this program so in this way we can just disturb the sequence and we can reduce the AI detection score okay so this thing that we can perform by two ways you can do it on your own you can disturb this, this sequence by your own that we will be discussing this also and the second way is to disturb the sequence by using different paraphrasers so let us discuss both the ways so first we will see how to break the sequence by our own and then we will move towards the second step which is by using different paraphrasers so let me go back to this so i am copying this same paragraph so you can use separate file word file okay so i am just altering the words maybe the position of the words here and there career fluid such as water oil and water so i am just converting this into water or oil so they are composed of career fluid such as water or oil where micro middle size minor particles are dispersed or are dispersed you can use synonyms as well okay so you have to just remove this part now you have just moved this part to the beginning that is the only thing that you have changed okay now we'll see whether what is happened to this ai score just go back to this copy leak and i am just pasting the modified text and check okay here now we will see that i have only changed the sequence of one sentence and now it is showing this is a human text okay if you copy the same text here under this tool zero gpt we will see what happened whether it has reduced ai score or not okay here also you can see that it is showing 0% ai gpt means the complete text is written by human so this is the one way that you can do you can just modify may you can you may use some synonyms or change the sequence of words you can just move the words here and there but what i'll prefer is see this is a time consuming process and hence you may move towards either this paraphrasing tool which is a keyboard or this is word tune i personally prefer word tune because of its accuracy so if you need any of these subscriptions in a reasonable cost or discounted cost then definitely we have given our email id in this video description we can you can contact us obviously the free version is also available but the free version is available with the limited number of words and with limited features so just convert that text let's go back to the chat gpt copy the same paragraph control copy so first i'll be copying this here under this quill board okay then you have to click on paraphrase 
so here on the right side the complete text has complete text is ready okay so you have to copy the text from here this is a modified text the little problem with the keyboard that the keyboard may replace few non technical words but obviously you can change the words if you want to change this response word you will be getting several other choices so that would be there but still little manual attention is required so you have to copy from here and then again we'll go back to this copy leaks then paste that text and check so here again you will see that this is a human text okay similar text if i am copying i am pasting here under this zero gpt so here also you will see that 0% ai is detected so similarly if you are converting the same text from copy from this word tune paste and you can select all this text and rewrite okay what i personally like about this word tune that this is really accurate tool as compared to keyboard the accuracy is little more so you will be getting different choices here itself so you might read that each and every text and you can confirm so if i need this text then i have to just copy from here and let's go back to this ai detection tool check okay here also you will see that this is a human text similarly you can copy the same text here detect text okay here also it is showing 0% ai gpt so in this way basically by using paraphrasing tool see if you want to just convert see if you have for example if you have used chat gpt and if you have written two three pages maybe four five pages and in that case if you are doing if you are trying to do it on your own to rephrase then it becomes time consuming task so you can use either this paraphrasing tool or this word tool so that this ai score will be drastically reduced in my upcoming video i'll be showing you ai detection tool of turnitin because the turnitin is the mostly employed see even though you are using ai detection tools you must have a plagiarism checker and mostly preferred preferred is obviously turnitin so in next video we will be discussing that ai detection tool which is there in turnitin we'll see its accuracy and at what level it will be detecting this ai score and whether it will be detecting the ai score to what level it is detecting the ai score of paraphrase text that we will analyze so in this way you can obviously use chat gpt but the most important thing that if you are looking for the tool that can write or research papers for you then that is actually not possible see the research paper is typically based on the experimentation or experimental results that we got so we have to elaborate all this research in our own words so you have to typically explain each and every results and that is a novel work so obviously the chat gpt also won't be able to explain those results and all but obviously you will get some idea you will get some effective words out of from this chat gpt so that you can just use those words and you can explain your results in that way basically this uh, chat gpt can help you in writing your research papers but other than research papers in writing research proposals maybe statement of purposes and any other similar documents definitely this will help you a lot and now i hope this information will help you so to get similar kind of information please do not forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so i'll see you in my next video bye bye